My name is Rapsy, and welcome back to Reintroducing the Watcher. Time to do Ascension 7. Ascension 7 is elites spawn more often, normal enemies are deadlier, elites are deadlier, bosses are deadlier, heal less after boss battle, starting to run damage, normal enemies are tougher, and next up, elites are tougher. Lose 7 max HP for a random rare relic, maybe one of my favorite things to do. Ooh, prayer wheel, normal enemies drop an additional card reward. This might actually be the build where I can make power uh, pressure points happen. I'm going to try and take the three elite path. No. Two. Mm. I want as many normal fights as possible. Because <sighs> the normal fights are the one that's, uh, ones that are going to reward us with the additional card reward. Well, that's lethal. Great draw right there. Prostrate and pro Oof. Really? You're gonna offer me two prostrates right now? Sanctity goes in this deck and I'm not gonna take anything else. I'm I'm gonna try for the pressure points deck, because I really wanna try uh, I just really wanna see it, frankly. Haven't done it in a very long time. Unfortunately, I am pretty certain this isn't going to end as well as I was hoping. Please stop putting those in my deck, friend. Well, they agreed, apparently. I appreciate it. Liquid Memories, as well as Spirit Shield, Simmering Fury, Evaluate. Spirit Shield could be used here, so I could evaluate. I should take a Bowling Bash literally just to help me with Elites, is the thing. Take Spirit Shields. Please, Pressure Point. Thank you. I can use Pressure Point, and then I can use Meditate to bring it back as well. I, I would not be entirely surprised if I died very early on in this run. Um, I'm actually going to try and avoid all elites. Alright. Only because I have a shop in the next space. I can remove the doubt and then I can take deep breath. For cycling our discard pile back in. Then I need to upgrade pressure points. I Look, I, I am clearly focusing on pressure points to the exclusion of every other thing just because we have this early prayer wheel. I don't know if it's going to uh, work. Really? I'm kind of happy to find out. Pressure points, deep breath. Great. That leaves Meditate in the deck still. Let's go Spirit Shield and then Meditate the pressure points back into our hand now. Points, deep breath, putting it back into the draw pile. Sanctity, looking for it. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill the enemy. Bag of Marbles, as well as Cut Through Fate, Flying Sleeves, Tranquility. Don't really want any of those. Game, please. Uh, like water. Yeah, like water actually makes sense. And I'll take a Deceive Reality for defense as well. Potion Belt upon pick up game two potion slots. I do like that a lot. Move a card from the deck for free. I kind of want to get the Eruption out of there. 
I'm removing a lot of my damage before I actually have all these pressure points. So now I'm going to take four normal fights. The idea behind taking these four normal fights is just to get eight card selections. Okay. Uh, pressure points. Strike you and then meditate to get pressure points back. I've got safety for the next turn. And I can even play my pressure points. So pressure points, safety, defense. Deep breath. Yeah, I don't really want either of those as my next card. Sure. Okay, like water deceive reality, and then defend. Got him. Please, another pressure point. Sanctity I could take, theoretically. Ugh. Okay, I'll take evaluate and I'll take sanctity. I don't take any more defense now. I just need pressure points. Please, game, please. Hey, you know what? I don't need to kill that backliner right now. Puts it a strike away from death, even when it's not vulnerable here. Wasn't actually thinking about that. Oops. It's fine. The enemy won't attack next turn. They have to buff. They'd attack two turns in a row there. Strike, deceive, evaluate, and in all likelihood. Won't be able to defend. Sorry, won't be able to kill, I mean. Was able to though. Uh wheel kick bowling bash. No. Ugh. You game, you gotta stop with this. Take a protect, I guess. <laughs> this is why I can't just always pick up the first bowling uh the first bowling bash, the first uh pressure points I see. Because it can be hard to get that build up the ground. Deceive reality, defend, use that, and two strikes to kill there. Get to retain both of these cards, making a future spirit shield a lot better. Like Water Vigilance is a great setup here. Unfortunately, pressure points was on the absolute bottom of the deck here, which is the worst place for it to be. Hey, there we go. So we pressure points the back line and then strike the front line for the kills. So pressure points, by the way, uh, this is the first time I've actually shown it off in this. So it applies 11 mark. Then, and only then, all enemies lose HP equal to their mark. So the first application applies the 11 and then deals 11 damage. It's important to keep that in mind. Bowling dash worship, but nope. Potential. Oh. It's important to keep that in mind because it, it can feel like it's about to do less damage than it does and then kind of surprise you. By being ridiculous. Great. I'll meditate probably next turn to bring back... Oh, no. It's insight. See reality strike and then meditate to bring back the pressure points. So this will be 22 damage to the enemy. And they purge themselves. I didn't <laughs> I didn't take the time to count whether that would actually put them below, but it did. Oops. Let's bring back that pressure points for another turn.
Throw out a protect, miracle, and a safety here. I'll leave the inside in hand. Don't need the draw yet. Pressure points, and then I'll deep breath, putting it back into the deck. Insight for the possibility of drawing it. Sanctity for the possibility of drawing it. Don't really want a Sanctity. No. I'm going to meditate a Sanctity back. Because all of this ends as soon as I draw the... Other, da, 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 the other, other, other white meat. That one. The pressure points. Game, you have to give me a pressure. <laughs> Game, please. Study would increase my ability to cycle through the deck. I'm going to take that. I haven't used study often. There's a lot of these things in this deck that I haven't used often. Let's get an upgraded study so I can actually play it. This is the first time I've ever done a build like this. I hope it goes well. Probably end up having to take this hit this turn. Okay. Pressure points and sanctity. There we go. We got the Meditate. That's exactly what I was looking for there. So that I could get into Calm and get another Pressure Points. Safety first, then insight. It's not just spirit shield there. Not really what I was looking for, unfortunately. Um, defend and insight because I'm still looking for... There we go. Pressure points. And now I can deep breath that back into the deck. Do I just run a card out of my hand here? I think I do. Honestly, it doesn't matter what it is there. Spirit Shield and Insight. Didn't find what I was looking for. I'm going to start wasting some of these Insights. Because I'm overfilling my hand a lot of the time now. And I need to retain some defense instead. All right, we got this. Seriously, if we had a second pressure points, this deck would be incredible. But lacking that, it's fine. <laughs> Meditate brings back the pressure points. We got the kill. I am so glad that we got Meditate, though. And like, uh, like Water as well. They're both being hugely helpful. Number of cards retained reduces cost by one this combat. I mean, keyword retain it. Meditate might make pressure points cost zero. And if it does, I'm going to try establishment here. I want to see if that works. I need the ability to continue upgrading cards. I can't take the fusion hammer. I also don't want the Rudic pyramid. I already overdraw in a lot of my hands. I have enough draw power and it doesn't quote unquote retain the card. So it doesn't actually synergize with establishment. I think I'm taking Tiny House. Please give me... Oh, you suck, Tiny House. Unless the Evaluates are upgraded, I can only really take him. All right. I've got four early... Five early fights here, actually. Actually gonna bring the pressure points back right now. I can kill the frontliner with it. Let's 
And this fight is going to get pretty out of hand if I don't start killing things. Speaking of, though, we managed to put something on the ground. I wasn't really expecting that. Meditate to bring back the pressure points. As much as I wanted to have the establishment out there, I really couldn't afford it. I guess I deep breath. Sweet. So I want to see if this works. I meditated on Sanctity. It does decrease its cost. That means that's going to be zero cost for the rest of the game. Well, rest of the fight. Wild. Like water, gain, nothing. Deep breath into Sanctity for the draw, then Spirit Shield for the defense. I'm also going to get the uh, Bowling Bash out there while I can. And I'll go against the frontliner because it has four less HP, and that might actually matter uh, as to my breakpoints and abilities to kill people. Let's go. Establishment, deceive reality, safety. I just take the damage. Yeah, this was without a second pressure points. This is like I'm too slow to actually do these fights. I get a little bit of my money back at least. Shame. Pre-upgraded third eye makes sense. Alright, fine. None of those. They're not doing big attacks next turn again. If I draw pressure points with this Sanctity, I'm real sad, so I'm just going to evaluate. It's effectively a delayed Sanctity, if you want to think about evaluate that way. Let's go like water. Protect. I'm going to meditate to bring back the Sanctity, actually. Decrease its cost. Got another 10 block at the end of this. It is ridiculous that I actually can't afford to play pressure points here. I'm spending all of my time defending. I have to. Way too much damage to allow us to randomly take. Points and deep breath. I'll deceive reality just to get a safety for a later turn as well. Spirit shield third eye. Try and set ourselves up. Go pressure points and then meditate the pressure points back into hand, getting it retained. Deep breath to get it back into the deck. 
Sanctity, and then just do all the draws until I can find it. Actually, you know what? Not all the draws until I can find it. The ability to scry through cards, like, the third eye is really good here. Please, one more. It's a common card, game. It's I swear it's a common card. Please, you have to trust me. It's a common card. Please give me the card. No, I don't want to second meditate. I said I'd take a pre-upgraded evaluate. I'm out of my word, I'm forced to do so. I'm taking the extra damage here just so that I get my calm earlier, so that if I draw the like waters, they're already effective for us. Speaking of. Time for Sanctity. Study like water miracle establishment. The uh, chosen is about to fill my entire deck with uh, garbage that is gonna make me real sad. I'm gonna meditate to bring back spirit shield because I might need it next turn. Oh, look, a spirit shield that I might need this time. I'm also actually going to use the energy potion to get my final hit there. Just need the bird on the ground, otherwise I'm taking a bunch of damage in a couple turns time. Next pressure point kills the frontliner already. I'd love to have meditated there, but I really couldn't afford it. So I hope I just get deep breath soon. Don't need to play any of those. Thank you, game, for actually providing enough defense for me there. Okay. Let's go pressure points, third eye. Cycle through to keep meditate. Safety and sanctity. Spirit shield, then meditate to bring the uh, pressure points back. I am halfway through the game right now. You have to give me a sec. I've been trying so hard. I've been such a good boy. Sometimes, things just don't work. Uh, the Chosen was filling my entire discard pile with the Dazed, so if I played a, uh, a study, it would draw two cards, but it would put one Dazed in my discard pile, so I'd effectively replace the, day, uh, replace the, uh, the study in my hand, as well as uh, get another card, but that card is offset by the Dazed. Knowing that I need to get to my next cycle as soon as possible, I still just have to play as many of them out of my hand as possible. Worst case scenario, I don't even manage to fully draw my next hand, and in doing so, I uh, don't even manage to draw my next hand, and in doing so, I leave myself another cycle away from getting into the new deck. Uh, the reason there were so many days at the bottom there is because I used the deep breath. I needed to use the deep breath to try and actually get the kill in time because the enemy was just going to wreck me if I stayed in the fight for too long. So I was using that to try and get the kill in time, but that's not how it went down. So for those of you who've been asking for a pressure points deck, this is what happens if you commit to it too early. 
This is why I don't do it that often. I'd love to, but sometimes the game says no. For the moment, my name has been Ramsey, the name of the game has been reintroducing the Watcher, Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you for our second attempt at Ascension 6. Seven, sorry, next time.